welcome to Little Einstein. One of the most common questions asked about our solar system is why does Saturn have rings and how are they formed? While there is no single agreed upon answer, Saturn has been known since prehistoric times. In ancient times, it was the most distant of the fine known planets in solar system excluding Earth and thus a major character in various mythologies. Babylonian astronomers systematically observed and recorded the movements of Saturn but the Saturn's rings were observed only after the invention of modern telescope. Understanding Saturn's rings might begin with the fact that it's not the only planet around here that has them. Jupiter has three very faint rings, Neptune has five, Uranus has 13. So better question might be, why do all our gas genes have rings? To answer that, let's start with an interesting little rule that celestial bodies tend to abide by known as the Rocher limit. First identified by French astronomer Edward Rocher in 1840s. This limit is the distance at which objects in orbit around a planet tend to be torn apart by the planet's gravitation. A planet pulls harder on the side of the satellite that's facing it. So, if a satellite gets too close, the unevenness of the attraction will likely cause it to break up. And that is apparently what happened to most of our gas chains because with few exceptions, their rings are almost always inside Rocher limit, while the moons are outside. So, in case of Saturn rings, one prevailing theory is that billions of years ago, some rogue wanderer like a comet got swept into the orbit within the Saturn's Rocher limit and broke apart. Another model suggests that moon that once orbited Saturn at a safe distance got smacked by celestial object into the danger zone, where it disintegrated. For more such videos, please like and subscribe. Comment the next topic you would like to see on your favorite channel. You can also find more such content on Tuition app.